Do I have to do my radio voice for this or not? <laughs> Just be yourself. <laughs> um, here with uh, Jerry Connor, owner of uh, Beer Brewery, one of the owners of Beer Brewery. And you've been involved with History on Tap at uh, Connor Prairie for a while. Connor Prairie, no relation. Right. No, no. They, spe- <laughs> they spell it differently. Yeah, yeah. The true Connor is O-R, not E-R. Oh, the true Connor. <laughs> Listen to you. All right. So, But they've been doing this History on Tap for a while, and you oh, guys yeah. have kind of been yeah. involved since the beginning of it? Yeah, I, I think they've been around doing this for about eight years, maybe. Eight, maybe even nine years. But I can remember we were one of the first, if not the first, brewery to uh, talk about history on tap with them. I can remember myself personally out there doing tastings um, up in the uh, north room, and I I don't remember what it was for exactly, but I know they had people coming in doing tours and so forth of an evening. It was a special event, but I think Sun King might have been also involved Mm. uh, around that same time because we were the only, we were really the first two yeah, you were. Uh, breweries out there. Sun King opened up, and then we were about 13 months behind them. And then six months to 12 months after that, then the floodgates opened up. But, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been very much involved with Connor Prairie uh, since then. It's been, it's been a blast, too. It's, it's really interesting to watch how everything has evolved over the last, what, nine years or so since they've been doing it. So when you get a chance to get in front of people and talk about your product at – an event where people want to hear that kind of thing because sure. there's no shortage of oh, beer yeah. and events right. where people just want to come up, get their taste, right. and then move on to the next one. Right. But when you're in front of an, an educated crowd like this who want to know things, where what do you talk about? Well, our people talk about the the beers themselves. Yeah. I don't, me personally, I don't profess to be a, a brewmaster, a, a, an extreme knowledgeable person about it. I know what I like and what mm. I don't like. Uh, but we talk about the history of craft beer here in Indianapolis and so forth and, and how we look on upon that. Uh, and when I say, you know, we are truly a craft company, um, besides my, my oldest son, uh, who is the reason why we're in this business right now, because this was his passion down at IU, and he came back up here and he worked at Great Fermentations for uh, 10 years before we opened in the brewery. But that being his passion, everything we've done here, I mean, he, he made his own brew house, a couple of brew houses himself to get us started and so forth. We make our own tap handles. I, in fact, my, myself personally will brand. Do you do the wood tap handles? I do the wood tap handles. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> so, and, I see uh, them all over the place. You're a busy guy. Yeah. Well, but that's a craft. Yeah. That's, that's what this business is. It's a true craft business. And uh, so we, we enjoy doing that stuff. So... When it comes to this year's history on tap, do you know what you're bringing yet? We'll probably kind of make a decision on a couple at the very last minute, but depending upon what we've brewed. But usually the our core when, uh, beers are the Kolsch, the Weizengut, which is the half of Weizen, and then the PDG, the pretty damn good mm-hmm. pale ale. I don't know if you can say that on the air, but we'll, we'll see I, how far I, we can get. Yeah, I just did, didn't I? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the PDG. So those three are the flagships. We, uh, you know, 99% of the time we bring those, and then also we'll bring another seasonal, one or two some more seasonals that we have at the time. Mm-hmm. So we're talking like first weekend in June, you're not going to bring the heavy winter stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> you're going to bring I'd, the refreshing. Yeah, I'd be surprised if we do any stouts or big porters at that time, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, but it'll be, we'll probably bring a... Um, Another IPA or hazy IPA right now. Those are really, you know, in and uh, are hot right now. Um, one of my favorite beers are, is the alt beers, and uh, we'll do that periodically. And I don't know if we're going to have that done in time for the event, but um, of course, I'm a I'm a light beer drinker. I'm not a hoppy or heavy beer drinker unless I have to. Sure. When I when my wife and I go out to dinner, we always go to to uh, restaurants and and that support us, that has our beer. And every once in a while, you'll, they'll have the PDG on. If that's the only beer they have on, I, I do choke one down. I'll tell you that, <laughs> even though that's not my, that's not my favorite one. But uh, yeah. I'll manage to do it. Well, as, as we said, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch your language. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, always, we love doing community projects. At our other location just recently up in Carmel, we... Um, hosted a fundraiser for a one of our customers who has just been diagnosed with brain cancer and mm. gosh that that weekend we had a 5k run uh, we had 
multiple people involved, and we raised over fifty thousand oh, dollars for the wow. event. Yeah, so That's it was great. it was a blast, uh, you know, considering under the, under the circumstances. But uh, mm. we're we're just very much involved in the community and love doing things like that. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you and uh, all the other great breweries at History on Tap, Connor Prairie, this coming weekend. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, too. Jerry, appreciate it. Beer Brewery, History on Tap, be there this weekend. Matt, my pleasure. Take care.